Before we get started, I want to thank SCS Software for their assistance in making this video. Without them, this project wouldn't be as special as it is. This is the first time that I've compared real life and video game worlds, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below after watching this video. American Truck Simulator, or ATS, is a popular business and vehicle simulation game that was released by SCS Software in 2016. At the time of release, this game launched with two states that players could drive through. These were California and Nevada. Since that time, SCS Software has released periodic downloadable content that expanded the map by adding extra states players could visit. The additional states added to the base game as DLC include Arizona, New Mexico, Oregon, Washington, and Utah. ATS is a comprehensive simulator known for its rich environments and realistic driving. These features are precisely why it has retained popularity since release. This summer, SCS Software is releasing Idaho as DLC, which is set to be the eighth state in the game. In this video, we'll take a look at what is known about the Idaho DLC at this point in time. I have been playing Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator for a while. ETS 2 specifically was always a nostalgic virtual getaway to Europe for me, as I grew up in Russia and spent a lot of time in Europe. When I was younger, I also got my first education in the automotive field, so with the right combination of Russian and European truck and map mods, ATS was a perfect fit for me. American Truck Simulator was released when a lot of changes took place in my personal life. I had just gotten a new job, got married, and started college. Because of this, I didn't have as much free time to play as I would have liked. Admittedly, when ATS came out, it didn't have that much content, but the game still very much appealed to me. Especially because I'd spent two and a half years all over the United States for a job I had back in the 2000s. During this time, I visited 46 states and drove just about every interstate in the country. Basically, this game brought a lot of memories. For example, the feeling of driving next to the ocean with a fresh cup of coffee in hand, watching the sunrise. That is a beautiful thing. Let's talk about Idaho the state in real life. First, you'd be surprised at how little people know about the state. Back when I drove around in the country over a decade ago, some people thought Idaho was in Canada. I am not kidding. Oftentimes, people would confuse Idaho with Ohio, Iowa, or Indiana, and I understand why. The state has a small population and it rarely gets mentioned on national news. Idaho for many people is associated with potatoes, and it's true, the state is famous for its potato farms. Even the non-personalized Idaho vehicle license plates say famous potatoes. But there is so much more to the state than just that starchy vegetable. Speaking of agriculture, I should add that Idaho has a lot of livestock ranches across the state which results in quite a bit of food processing businesses. I think the most recognizable brand for people from the United States would be the Chobani yogurt plant in Twin Falls. SCS Software already wrote in their blog about the lumber and wood production in northern Idaho. I want to add the mining industry to that as well. As a matter of fact, Idaho has one of the largest cobalt deposits in the world. I'm sure you can see that many types of products can be delivered to and from Idaho. One other important fact which is relevant to American Truck Simulator gameplay is the Rocky Mountains. Southern Idaho's landscape is relatively flat, this is where most of the farming industry is located and subsequently contains the majority of the state's biggest cities. Most of North and Central Idaho are mountainous however, which brings a series of challenges to those driving large semi-trucks, especially during the winter. Which brings me to my next important subject. Roads are one of the most essential parts of the American Truck Simulator game. Because of the unique shape of Idaho, I am curious about which routes we'll see in the upcoming DLC. I am sure it will include all the interstates, I-84 connecting Oregon and Utah across the northwest, going through Boise, which is Idaho's capital, and Twin Falls. I-15 connecting Montana and Utah across the east part of Idaho through the two meager cities of Pocatello and Idaho Falls. Interstate 86 linking I-84 and I-15. The most important, at least for me however, is I-90 in the north of the state. This interstate connects Washington and Montana and goes through some very high mountains. I drove this road a lot and am very excited to try it in the game. Idaho's other highways include 95, 93, 20, and 12. 
Oh, and we can't forget about some of the state's country roads that don't even have asphalt. The State 12 Highway has lovely mountain views and serves as a shortcut if you want to avoid I-90 on the way to Lewiston and Moscow from East Idaho. Though I'm not sure if it will be in the DLC because it has to include parts of Montana. Idaho is the 8th state that's going to be present in the game upon release. While very few details were provided about this DLC when it was announced towards the end of 2019, some information has come out since then to paint a more accurate picture of what players should expect. Keep in mind that portions of Idaho can already be accessed while playing American Truck Simulator, which includes its welcome sign and other small areas. When the Oregon DLC was released, I-84 was added which provided access to small portions of Idaho as well. If this DLC adheres to the same design strategy as previous ones, the entire state will be available with at least 10 cities that can be visited. The developers behind American Truck Simulator strive to make each state that they place into the game as realistic and representative of their real-life counterpart as possible. When it comes to Idaho, there are a number of unique characteristics that SCS Software has focused on when creating the DLC. While truck stops are found on all highways throughout the US, they are particularly prevalent in Idaho. These truck stops no longer serve solely as a place to fill up the tank. Instead, they provide truck drivers with chain stores, restaurants, and other useful amenities. SCS Software understands that each truck stop is slightly different and unique, which is why they've made sure to emphasize that fact with their virtual truck stops. They've also traveled all throughout Idaho and changed certain streetlight designs to make sure that they match their counterparts. The state of Idaho is most widely known for its potato crop, which makes up around 33% of the entire yield throughout the US. As such, SCS Software has made sure to keep this identity intact throughout the Idaho DLC. For one, drivers will be tasked with making ample amounts of deliveries to and from farms that directly produce potatoes. While driving, players will pass other trucks that are filled with potatoes and will notice signage advertising the crop. While most of the road signs along the interstates and highways of Idaho are of the same type as those found throughout the rest of the country, there is one particular sign that can only be found in Idaho. When driving in this DLC, players will notice more than 300 signs that represent highway historical markers. These markers display where history and highways intersect throughout the state. Created in 1956, this program aimed to preserve Native American history in Idaho. Each sign comes with its own text about the significance of the area, which allows players to learn something new while they're driving. Along with potatoes, Idaho is known for its logging industry. The timber and forest industry is highly prevalent throughout the northernmost portions of the state like I've already mentioned. Players will be tasked with traversing thick forests, which can make for some challenging drives. Driving longer trailers is noticeably difficult in these areas as there are plenty of sharp turns. There are three separate timber harvesting locations that have been brought to the Idaho DLC, each of which is different from the others. While the exact release date has yet to be given, the Idaho DLC is still set to be released this summer. For anyone who is interested in it, the Idaho DLC will be available on Steam and should be playable across macOS, Windows, and Linux devices. Now, I want to talk about why I am so excited about the Idaho DLC. There's a small town that will be included in the game, which is very special and dear to me. The City of Salmon. Why? Well, this is the first place I moved to after immigrating to the States. Of all the time I've spent living in the US, one third was spent in Salmon, Idaho. There I met my first American friends, got my first real job, and fell in love with the mountains. This town has magnificent views. Seeing the top of mountains from your window, covered in snow, with a blue sky in the background, is an incredible and breathtaking experience. It is the definition of a small American town with amicable and kind people. But I'm sure you're not here for my memory trips though, so let's talk about what kind of content Salmon can bring to ATS. Even though the city of Salmon is small, it requires a lot of cargo. On the other hand, the city has almost no production, so this could be challenging from the perspective of transportation logistics. Let's look at what products could be delivered to Salmon. Groceries and household goods. No matter how small a community is, it always requires essential products to support daily life and activities. Gas is another vital part of every American life and of course every transportation business. Salmon has a decent sized car dealership which carries vehicles from the three big US automakers, Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler. Remember earlier that I mentioned the Idaho cobalt mining industry? 
Well, that mining project is currently in development around Salmon. I'm not sure about which stage it's in, but I think in ATS it could be used as a location for oversized equipment delivery. Plus, the mine is in a remote location and to get there, you would have to drive a one-way curvy backcountry road in the mountains. Construction materials and supplies are another possible cargo that can bring content to the DLC. I know at least two places in Salmon that would require cement delivery. Speaking of construction, there is a Glulum manufacturer in the area as well. Glulum is a structural engineered wood product constituting of layers of dimensional lumber bonded together with durable, moisture resistant structural adhesives. That was a quote from Wikipedia, I've never heard of this term until now. We usually call that a beam. Obviously, a company creating these would need lots of lumber deliveries. What could be exported from Salmon in American Truck Simulator? Like I said before, not that much. Costume beams and utility structures that are heavy oversized cargo, and of course potentially cobalt. You can often see semi-trucks loaded with big bales of straw and hay if you drive in Idaho, especially in late summer, fall, and winter. Everything above was a hypothesis and a suggestion on what can be added to the American Truck Simulator Idaho DLC, specifically related to the city of Salmon and based on my knowledge, so keep that in mind. Now for the hardest part, waiting for the release of the ATS Idaho DLC. As you can probably tell, I am very excited for it, so you will definitely see gameplay of ATS Idaho on our channel, most likely in a livestream format. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that content. Also, let us know in the comments below what you would like to see in the upcoming DLC and share your thoughts about ATS. Don't forget to like the video if you found the content enjoyable. All links are in the description and thanks again to SCS Software for providing us with the exclusive screenshots of the Town of Salmon.